In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a map like this one, where you can see different countries with some data. In this case, it's population data for about eight countries in South Asia. To start the process, click Create New. Select Map. And then choose the map option on the left side. Now you need to select the region or country you want for the visualization. In this tutorial, we are going to select Asia. Click and then proceed. This is actually the page where you enter the data. You can manually enter the data, the values, beside each country. Or you can actually copy and paste the data into the box on the left side. I already have the data in Google Sheets. I am just going to copy and paste it into that box and transfer the data to the Sheets. Now that you've got the data, click Proceed, and in this section, you can customize and visualize the data in different ways. You can enter the title and then add annotations similar to what you have done in previous classes. You also need to enter the data source, the name of the data source from here. I have the data source. Just copy the URL, the link, and enter the name of the data source, world meters, and by the name of the person who created the visualization. You can also activate show labels, go to layout, and also activate some options available, like the option to download the image of the visualization, social media buttons. You can select column as the country. Names of the countries will appear on top of the visualization. Now you need to remove the countries that are not actually part of the map. To do that, you actually need to go and click hide regions without data. So now the map may be more focused on the countries that are actually in the visualization. You can also enter some text where you can provide some information about the visualization or a particular country. In this case, I'm going to write that India is the most populous country in South Asia. So you can put notes like that for different countries or one country. You can change the colors, make it bold, even change the font size as well. You can draw a line since it is India. Direct it to India. You can also change the shape of the line. Change the width as well as change the line. and click Proceed. And in the last stage, that is to get the embedding code. You just click Publish, and you will have that code which you can copy and paste in your blog.